Would you like to see your new home, your new school, or the newest shopping mall even before it's built? It is possible, you know. You don't even need your imagination or the blueprint. It can all be presented in 3D animation right before your very eyes, even before the first brick is laid. Urban planning, property development, and interior design. Too often, mega projects like these will take many years and loads of money to plan and build. And for the clients making the investment, looking at these models is just not good enough. They need something better to help them visualize what's going to be built. Architecturally trained Lee Hong Kit realizes the potential of this and set up BMW seven years ago. Today, Hong Kit makes his business transforming 2D blueprints to 3D animated walkthroughs. We can actually uh, virtually walk through a space where it cannot be done before. We can virtually see how it would be uh, in, in three years' time. We can virtually see outside to the environment where it's going to be built. So, in fact, all things are possible at the moment in design visualization. We can soar to the air in a bird's eye view. We can actually do a worm's eye view. Certain angles that uh, a normal person would not be able physically be able to see it. But those are the most interesting angles to take and which that's where the computer and the fun comes in. Think of it as a virtual test run for an architect's design. While it may not be as glamorous, this creative animation does share the same roots as the games and the movies. But architectural visualization stops short of employing the creative license of the movie business because whatever is created virtually, in this case, must eventually be built. We are a cross between what the movie are doing and what the gaming industry is doing. We can be very cinematic in, in terms of our visual animation and sequence. In a way, the tools we are using are similar. Um, it's all virtual, so to speak. But what, what differentiates for us from the gaming and the movie is we are rooted to design and, and it's going to be built. So there is a reality and dimension to it. Um, we can't fake that. But while design visualization does not lie, it does enhance and highlight angles that present the architectural space at its best. Good visualization offers the viewer an aesthetic perception of the real from the eye of a design artist. We are not doctoring the thing to be different. It is designed that way, but just that people might not see it the way we see it. They are presented to the best of the ability of the potential of this product, which in, in this case, architecture and spaces. And we need to enhance it to make people realize that there's this little extra special in terms of sparkles, in terms of details, in terms of uh, um, design that is put into it that you might, you know, at a glance, just miss it out if you do not highlight it in our work. Visualization can be used to explore how a building will fit in with the surrounding environment before it's built. Or to test interior design possibilities of a room or apartment with fly-throughs that cut through walls. It's not about just showcasing the interior design, but the, the ideas that's been put into it, as in the walls can be moved or can be changed and that somehow changed the whole uh, spatial arrangement. So in the animation, we can actually move walls rather than just move furniture. Of course, we need the interior designer's input. So they'll give us layout plans like that, where they, they actually really allocate certain features like the movable walls, where the furniture is going to place, materials like fabric materials. And it will be, of course, helpful if they have actually sketches, where you know it's, it's easier for us to interpret as, as to exactly how the spatial quality is, is perceived by the designers. With tools like 3D Max and Maya, visual design artists could not only create what hasn't been built, it can also reconstruct what's already been destroyed. There's a fantastic project in China, where they're reconstructing ancient cities. 
so that you can see exactly what they looked like back in the day, both colours and environments and people and structural functionality, how things work. Still, before you get hooked into buying your next property by watching its animated walkthroughs, be warned. Design visualization often presents a project at its pristine state. Buildings or houses may look more mundane when they're finally built. We are only as good as what the architects provide into the design. Our job is actually to um, create movements, um, to see how the spaces are perceived when you walk through it. How, how can we invoke emotion? Architectural visualization may indeed be the untainted visual creation. But given a choice, I'd rather see the perfect vision of what I'm putting my money into than to depend on my own imperfect imagination. And soon, we may be able to do more than just watch. So what we're expanding now is actually a virtual walkthrough. So you can actually have a person to dawn on uh, um, more like a gaming environment, but this is more real in a sense to actually uh, don on a, a pair of goggles and actually walk through a space, a virtual space that you can actually experience it uh, very realistically. Design visualization is likely to play a dominant part in the future landscape of architecture. It is, after all, the vehicle for the ideal vision, untainted, unobstructed, before reality sets in. Call it what you want, digital realism, hyper-realism, better than real. Just remember, it's all digitally enhanced. And at the end of the day, this is still the world we live in. I'm Timothy Go. That's it.